What's up guys, this is Daniel and this is another episode of this Watford series. Trying to get Watford into the Barclays Premier League and, you know, have some success in that league. And for those of you guys that don't know, who are new to my channel, because I've had a lot of questions on these episodes, you know, what difficulty is this on? Um, you know, not basically what are you doing, but... <laughs> so to answer those questions, I am on playing on Legendary. Um, every single match is played on Legendary, as you'll see here. I... <laughs> I drop a few games, but um, trying to get Watford from the Empire Championship into the Barclays Premier League, um, and you know, and then there's a lot of people asking, who are you gonna pick up? You know, what transfers are you gonna make in the off season? And um, that will be, that'll be coming up. And you know, guys, I have a lot of changes coming that I have in mind. I actually haven't played the last few games, so it's not, it's not a surefire thing that I'm going into the Barclays Premier League, but. Um, you know, I, I have a feeling that I'll get there. And um, you see here, I drop a game versus, um, I, I don't know who that was, Sheffield, I believe. And um, that's a two-game losing streak. So we're going to try to pick it up here against Ipswich. And this game was probably one of the most upsetting games that I've played in this whole series. And so we're skipping ahead here. Um, a lot of you voted on, you know, just kind of get through these last games that, that I'm playing and... And instead of like showing the highlights and you know miss miss chances and stuff like that, so I'm only showing the goals of these matches, trying to get some matches out of the way so that I can um, pick it up here in the BPL. And so they get a late goal, and then in the 84th minute, and then coming here into the 90th minute, they get another goal. And this game, like I I wish I could show you guys the highlights, and I mean I could have, but it would have been taken a lot because I had so many chances, but I just couldn't put them away. And that, that goes down to the fact that I just, I've been so used to playing with my Brasilvers and, you know, good players in Ultimate Team. And then I come to Watford, my Watford career mode, and it's it's a little bit different. You know, finesse shots don't bend as much as, as you want them to, and they don't go into the net where you think they're going to. But anyways, let's skip ahead here. So that right there is a three-game losing streak, and that, that one was maybe very angry, to be honest. And so we're... we're Picking up here against Darby, and a quick goal here. A nice cross by Graham over to Sordell to give me an early lead in this match. And then we start picking it up here. Sordell, you know, you see me with a lot of um, dummies, fake shots, and combination passes. A lot of give and goes. And Graham, though, he takes this himself, and he has a nice finish, putting me up 2-0 against Darby. And then we'll keep going here. These these games these matches before this I felt like Sordell was just getting pushed off the ball every single time I I didn't have anything you know to counter the the teams with that I was playing and that's why I dropped three in a row but I guess he went to the gym in between these matches because he was pushing people off the ball making plays and that's nice to see because I was getting a little worried there for a second that my cockiness saying oh there's well, that's a bad <laughs> bad example there but my cockiness saying you know. There's no doubt I'm going into the Barclays Premier League, but um, you know that's that's not a set thing in stone right now. So um, I haven't actually played out the matches in this series. I kind of go along as I upload these videos. I haven't even played the next match after the last match in this episode. So um, you know it's not it's not set in stone that I'm going to the BPL, but um, I do have a nice cushion. Anyways, moving on to. The match against QPR and this game was kind of back and forth um, you know you see here in the 24th minute um, nice that's a nice goal I mean they they created that chance and I'll, I'll give that to them and right here I did I do have to play my subs a lot more now and you see there that's a witch alone you won't see him very much but I do sub him in when um, you know when my players get tired and, and they are because they're playing more matches a week now Later in the season, a lot of the matches have actually been rescheduled. And then with the FA Cup, I do have a lot of matches packed into a short period of time. So I'm having to use a lot of my subs. And you see there, QPR goes ahead with a nice header goal off a set piece. And once again, you know, I'll take that. And this game was kind of back and forth. So th there's a lot of, you know, a lot of frustration that I've had in earlier matches. I didn't have in this match just because... You know, it was, it was just an all-around good match. So, um, tied it up there, 2-2, two to two, and then I give the ball away in the middle of the pitch. And, you know, a lot of us know how that ends, and that's that's where they go ahead, 3-2. to two. 
And that is how that one ended. So, you know, I've played the last four matches I've played. I have three losses and a win. So, not not too good. Um, definitely a different type of pace than I've been keeping this whole season. And so we're going to try to pick it up here against Cardiff. And I did. And this is a little spoiler for you guys. But um, as you see there, I am playing basically other than some of the back four. I am playing my... My normal strength squad and this is what happens when when i do play my starters that have been starting since the beginning of the season and you see a nice one two pass there with graham and he puts it away with his weak foot puts me up one nil and we'll keep this rolling i mean this is only the 12th minute here another give and go these are so effective in career mode and Sordell once again he must he must have been working in the gym because he's holding that that defender off and putting that one away nice goal there by by Sordell and there's another through ball and we're gonna try to find Sordell on the back post and we do so that puts us up three to nil and you see that we're kind of trying to <laughs> picking up the pace here I've, I've played a few matches and I'm starting to get the hang of of playing again with Watford and Graham puts us up four to nil so this is becoming a route but they do come back kind of a, a consolation goal here on a set piece close to the 18 and they'll cross it here and I don't know what's happening because <laughs> I was trying to clear it here but somehow the ball falls to to his foot and he puts it away but right off the kickoff you know I'm not I'm not taking any crap here <laughs> nice little give and go passes good little through ball from Graham here to Sordell and he completes his hat trick putting us up five to one that's how that one ended and so guys in this episode, we have five matches, three losses, and two wins. So still not not that good, but um, you'll see here in the in the tables here in the, of the league, I am up still 14 points. I don't know how I managed to do that, but I am at eight points behind Middlesbrough, 14 points ahead Portsmouth. So guys, it's looking good. And so I did kind of calculate how many games or matches I have left, and that is around 10 not including some of the FA Cup matches, but I'll try to fit those into two episodes to try to get the try to get Wofford into the BPL and kind of pick things up into a kind of more exciting setting. But guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. It does help me out a lot. And um, I already just said it, but thanks for watching, guys.